welcome to the Bougie Black Brother Network. Good evening and welcome to Repo Rethink Politics where we fuck around with whatever access that we can get to to give you this podcast. <laughs> and I have my two co-hosts with me. E, what's going on, brother? Yo, yeah, no. Just trying to figure out what's going on in the world right now, man. But it's good to hear y'all. Yep, it's a mad week, mad week. Crazy and week, yeah. Sir Django, what's going on, brother? What's up, what's up? I'm actually going to be uh, DJing with my podcast name. So I'm excited what? about that. However, hey. it's not. I know some corporate people may not like Sir Django, so... Nah. Hey, that logo is dope, though. I just, yeah, I like that. That. that was a nice layout. That was a nice layout. Right. You know you know what inspired that, right? No. Bad 25, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Jackson, so influential. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, look at the logo. Look at my shit. It's the same thing. Really? Okay. No, uh, you think I'm bullshitting? No, I know you ain't bullshitting. It's, it's, <laughs> you ain't like you that. wanted a uh, Eric Dickinson poster <laughs> above your bed and shit with his jerry curl and all. So hell yeah, I believe you. <laughs> <laughs> all jerry curl dudes. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Shout out to uh, '90s Ice Cube. You know what I'm saying? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta have it. So, anywho, we started, we haven't been on for a couple of weeks, um, and a lot of shit went on, but we're going to jump in with the Manafort um, convictions, uh, the 18 convictions, and only eight was actually, um, you know, not a hung jury. But did you hear about the one lone jurist? Mm-hmm. Didn't have the ten counts for Manafort. No. Yes, I I did, and oh, crazy. you know, we we're actually talking about this. Um, just offline, we were talking about getting news, and I recently started using Twitter again. Yeah. And on Twitter, there was like, how can you have, um, you know, how can you have a trial of this magnitude, and they're not sequestered? So basically, it's kind of like they're just going home, watching TV, reading president's tweets. And it's like, well, shouldn't they be kind of, you know, for this kind of magnitude or whatever? How Are, are they not influenced? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. And what, what was crazy was, and because I checked it out for the whole week to try to find out what the hell was the problem. The foreman actually, and they said he shouldn't have done this. He put... 12 no 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 11 guilty one not guilty on each of the up to 10 counts so the judge knew that it was this one goddamn person that caused the problem and they said that's unorthodox normally you don't do anything that way but i think they were so caught up with this trump supporter that they just said i know the evidence is there but i just don't feel that he's guilty on all of these counts and the person who went up against that person was an actual Trump supporter that said, I will vote for Trump any day of the week. But this guy was guilty, which was pretty extraordinary yeah. right, based on the type of Trump supporters. Right. Knowing the mindset the of a Trump mindset, supporter. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. That's the better. One. Yeah, the mindset of a Trump. <laughs> but there was one that had that mindset, but another that just said, I just think he's doing the right thing for us and people aren't giving him the chance. But this guy is guilty. The hell with that. Yeah. So and, and so this was weird to me because, and I started with this because this was the start of everything rolling. You know what I mean? With the Manafort, with the the Mueller, with the Cohen, and everything that really set yeah. it off. Because that previous Friday, they say, "Give us some more time." And then they was like, uh, let's just go through the process and we'll see you Monday. So over the weekend, Heads was saying, ah, it looks like he may come back with a not guilty plea. And then they came back with the eight and ten, which I think they just stacked the deck on him anyway. Because I was telling my wife, I said, I don't think all of those counts were pretty necessary, but they wanted to yeah. stack the deck to say if we get some of them, it's a win. 
Right. And, you know, mm-hmm. if you just stack them in that way, the more you get out of it, the better chance we have mm-hmm. after the fact. Right. 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 And I started with that because I wanted to ask you both of you is, do you think that was the jump off to everything or really was it the Tuesday when Michael Cohen just stood up in court and, and laid the whole process out? That's that's that shit is real right there because it's, it's almost like, hey, bro, I might go to jail. I, right. you know, because you can bank on the fact that there might be a pardon. There might, there might be some bullshit with uh with Manafort. Mm-hmm. But I think it's crucial you have Cohen because Cohen is a, he has all the information. That's the lawyer. Yep. Manafort just came around like what? Let's say last twenty four months. Cohen's been around for like ten years. Exactly. So mm-hmm. a lot more bullshit. A lot more skeletons in the closet. So yeah, I'm more worried about losing him than you know. It's kind of like an employee. Mm-hmm. I'd rather lose somebody who's been there for ten years versus you know that motherfucker just got here. Yeah, all right, so we can just the hell get another it? one. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. So I think that's much more damaging. So when you have Cohen, the cherry on top is just getting the uh, getting the convic- con- convictions from Manafort, mm-hmm. but not necessarily needed as yeah. much as you need Cohen. Yeah, if anything, that probably proves just that uh, Manafort is really just to prove that he keeps surrounding himself around like, like well, you could say felons or just bad people or just untrustworthy just people that just make bad decisions and you know like if you can prove that Manafort is legit just not like you know is a criminal straight up then that's one but it doesn't really prove anything else on the bigger scale so you so you need something where um Cohen who is like it's more personable like he knows his his skeletons he knows a lot more about his personal life so I mean, and that's, I honestly feel like, you know, with the Cohen situation, they, they're they just scratching the surface on the stuff that they actually right. know. Um, you know, the fact that uh, he, it, uh, Cohen admitted that, look, you know, it's about my family and my kids right now. It's not about Trump. So whatever, you know, whatever I need to do to keep them, you know, uh, keep the, you, I think he said like his family name, you know, out of mm-hmm. there or something like that to protect them. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to say whatever I need to say or, you know, whatever I need to do, you know, so that's scaring the hell out of Trump because now he's keeping it honest. He's just keeping it real. So whatever question they ask, they're telling them, except the fact that he's not using Trump's right, name. Right. I thought that was kind of interesting. But, but he's know. the, I think the name that has been going around is an mm-hmm. unindicted co-conspirator. An unindicted yeah. coat because I never heard that shit before until they started saying it. Then I was like, "Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, unindicted yeah. co-conspirator." But let me and I started this because it sound like y'all didn't mm. get this portion because I was like a news junkie for the week, even though I was on vacation. <laughs> when I was just sat down and didn't have nothing to do, I was, I was say, a fucking yeah. news junkie, dude. So the Cohen, mm. I mean the Manafort, is the only trial that Mula is involved in. Everything else has been sourced out. True. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's the it's the New York prosecutors, yep. right? So it's New York handling yeah. all that. So well, go ahead. Yeah, Mueller, he did the referral though. So I always thought of it as a I always thought of it as a I mean, he he referred Cohen that the evidence or whatever to them to start the shit in the first place, right? Right. That's true. That's but, true. But yeah. this is what and this is where, you know, I, I was talking with some people, too. It was interesting. We had some conversations, but that's what happened on a cruise. But <laughs> but the, <laughs> what we, we heard was Cohen mm-hmm. was like, if I lay this all out, we'll be able to get him in this way. So all of this that came out all was months ago when they raided his house and his office and everything. Yeah. So this isn't nothing new. This is what... Mueller had just been hanging on to to say, let me dot the I's, let me source it out to all of these people. But the only thing I'm going to hold on is Manafort, because the Manafort issue is let's first get him convicted. And then the next trial, which will be, and I think in two weeks is then it's the Russian stuff. And that's mm-hmm. what people don't right. understand. They think it's all about the, the just hiding money and the tax. No, what he wanted is y'all can take care of that. I just need some convictions on all of these people because the information when we bring in the new people, they're going to either tell on them or they're going to want something. And that led to 
the pecker guy and the actual uh, accountant CFO? at the end of the week. Yeah, so the, wasn't it the CFO of Trump organization? That been there in the 1970s, yo, with his dad. Yeah, Pecker? No, not Pecker. Pecker is the National it's, Enquirer it's, CEO. It starts with a W. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Wein- okay. Weinsberg. Yeah. Or... Wise something, yeah. No, Weinstein is the, the pervert motherfucker. But the... No, not Weinstein. Like, well, <laughs> no, I'm saying it starts with a W. Yeah, it's like Weinsberger or some crazy shit. But, um, Mm-hmm. Yeah, you yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's that's the accountant. That's the one who says, "Let me write the, uh, let me get the checks ready. You sign off on them, and I'll get them paid." So it had to go through his hands. That's why he mm-hmm. wanted immunity. Yeah. He was he was kind of like, "Look, man, I just gave it to him. They told me what to do." So he tried his luck, but they got his name part of it now. Okay, Alan Wessel Wesselbergs Wesselberg. Wesselberg, yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, that's a new, <laughs> it's a Jewish guy. <laughs> yeah, New, yeah. New York. <laughs> yeah, that's a New York shit right there. So, this is what I found interesting because this is what people didn't find out until this previous week too is he can pardon the president can pardon all federal crimes, mm-hmm. but he cannot pardon state crimes. So mm. that's why Mueller said, I'm going to source these out to y'all. I'm going to source some stuff to D.C. I'm going to source some stuff to Virginia. Because if y'all convict them there, the president can't do nothing about it. Really? No. Oh, Only shit. federal yeah, no, crime. I was like, oh, shit. And th- that's, that's, that's so much chess right exactly. now. Like, motherfuckers but, playing chess. Yeah. Through, this motherfucker's playing um, tic-tac-toe. You know what I'm saying? And, and Mueller's playing chess. So he's like, no matter what happens, I'm going to get a couple of convictions in and he can't do anything about yeah. it. So that means from day one, he already knew the yep. drill. So what if what if Trump starts mm-hmm. pardoning him? Yep. Don't, don't worry yeah. about it. So, so <laughs> yep. it don't matter. He started building that. He had to build <laughs> that profile. Of, he was like, okay, all right. So, so he's pardoning people. Okay, all right, boom. So we need to go ahead and check that off. Make mm-hmm. sure he can't do that. So they had to come up with a plan on how they could do that. So it kind of makes more sense why yeah, it took so long. Because he, he wanted yeah. to make so, sure that there's a couple together. of people that he can fall back on in order to say, right. yo, y'all can convict him. Here's some evidence that I got pulled. And here's right. some guys yeah, that yeah, pleaded yeah. guilty. And here's the information that they have. But there's a key name that you're going to hear. I'm telling you, I've been going through this bitch. It's a key what name. Barbara name? Underwood. <laughs> She's the Attorney General of uh, New York. Oh, her yeah. ass, What's going in right now? Shit. I'm, I'm, I'm walking through this motherfucker. <laughs> so fucking crazy. Her ass it's got in right after the Attorney General had to resign because he was sexually harassing a bunch of women. So he resigned. Yeah. <laughs> so he had to resign. Wow. Oh, so they said, let's damn. put a placeholder oh, okay. in and put this chick in. She's an old lady. Nobody knows who she is. Her ass immediately put in a civil suit to prosecute mm-hmm. Trump and his foundation and his organization. Oh, wow. And she had the she details of all of that. And this is what she did. Mm-hmm. And this is where it really got interesting. She mm-hmm. sent it to the tax people. She sent it to the property people. She sent it to all of these different organizations and said, I think y'all should prosecute them criminally. I have a civil suit, right. but here's some evidence that y'all can prosecute. And they all took it. So you're gonna, you have a couple of different other indictments that may come down based on what she did just in New York. And her actually dealing with Mueller and these people who pleaded guilty or getting immunity, they actually have to give her information and say, that'll take my case and we'll have separate prosecutions. And it's state. And I'm like, what the fuck? Mm-hmm. This wasn't a movie, bruh. Or if this wasn't real life, you wouldn't even believe this shit was going down. Yeah, it's a it's it's a movie. It's I didn't know that piece of the like puzzle. It. But no. again, if you looked at the actual um polling, uh the polling stayed the same. The approval, yeah, the approval rating? rating stayed the same. You know, at this yeah. at this point. 
I don't know if I'm not surprised by that anymore. Nope. I mean, we, mm-hmm. we've been talking about it ad nauseum in terms of what would it take, and I don't know, short yeah. of just something horrendous, but it, it had to be something horrendous to their own. Right. You know, it's, it's kind of yeah, like, you know, it's kind of like you care about black people being shot by the police. Yeah. You know, there's one thing to have empathy, but if you're like, eh, well, it won't happen to me. So, mm-hmm. or it doesn't have anything to do with jobs or whatever. Until yeah. some shit starts hitting in a wallet or their own, they won't even. I, I can't really see that divide being broken down. Unfortunately, I mean, I, I would say this right. just on that point, real quick. Um, if <laughs> I never, I don't know anybody in real life who's been disinvited to a funeral <laughs> or, un- <laughs> like, or says, "Hey, don't show up, don't show up to my right. funeral." And I, I think yeah. this is the second one, a third, like. That's to me. That is, oh, I'm trying to wrap my brain around that. But the, the proof Wait, rating. Has what do you mean, second one? Second one, third one. There was a. I want to say there was a, someone else. Was like, hey, when I'm dead, homie, don't show up. <laughs> so the, the the one I do remember, and it's not even political. It's um, Guru from Gangstar didn't want DJ Premier at his shit. And he had it in writing. He said, I don't want fucking DJ Premier really? at my shit. Really? Don't let that nigga show up at my funeral. Damn. Fuck DJ Premier. That sound that's that's worse than Five yeah. Dog and Q Tip though, for real. Yeah, that's some that's yeah. some bit of shit right there, right? But yeah. uh you just never know. But yeah. this magnitude, and you're talking about John McCain, and he probably put it in writing too. Bro, you know, you that, know, you know. You know <laughs> I don't want this dude here at all. <laughs> And they was like, "Look, but he's the pre- look. These are my wishes, and I'm about to fucking you know what I'm die." Saying like, you talking about approval yeah. ratings haven't changed, and then like that, I don't know. That's uh, that's yeah. hard for me to reconcile. Like, what am I missing? So, what am I missing? but you, what you're missing is your preference. You know, you got people who say because a person's black, um, I'm going to support him. I know he's pretty fucked up. Remember when um, the chief justice when he was rolling it and there was black people say, well, that's, we only getting one chance to put a black person in. You do need to support him. I said, that dude is going to do everything against you and black people. Why would you put a black person like that there? You know, but we won't be able to get another black, you must be insane. Mm -hmm. That's the type of mentality. I think with people like this, but I, I feel a lot better now because the justice system, is going after him, not the popularity, not yeah. the media, not even Congress. This is the judicial side of the government. And they're circling the wagons and working together because he's been saying that they're fucked up. They all against him. They're not they we don't value them. Uh-huh. So they all in their mind is like, oh, we're going to show you who we are. This uh-huh. is the portion of the government that you were not aware of. And we coming to get you. See, the problem with this is that, like, the, it's the justice system, you know, that the, the fucked up system that isn't actually, I mean, just to be honest, it just isn't really trustworthy when it comes to a lot of these issues. So, okay. But they hate him, if though. We want, Let me... If we want Republicans and we want the country to actually believe that Trump is actually a problem, that's the only route you can go, yep. you know? Yeah. So, so you're right. You know what I mean? That's, it's just, it's just, it doesn't make any sense why this country has approval ratings going up and they don't understand what's right in front of their face and and see that he's actually just he's just a bad dude, man. You know what I mean? Like he's yeah. just not you 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 want a good person to be your president in mean, your I, country. No, 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 you know? but per, here's a perfect example. So this uh-huh. is from the New York Times. Kush, right. Kushner companies and Michael Cohen accused of falsifying building permits to push out tenants. Now, if I'm a, you know, if I'm just a Trump supporter or whatever the case, whatever label you want to say, why does mm-hmm. that, how does that move the needle for me in terms of my approval? Just a plain devil's, just yeah. plain devil's advocate. I'm like, well, uh-huh. A, I don't live in New York. B, yeah. um, you know, how would that ever affect me? Or at least in my mind, what's oh. the perception? What's the downstream oh, effect? It could be a good reason for it. Or yeah, or and, like, and well, you know say it could be a good reason. Or for you, it. Yeah, yeah, the other side where you say, you know what? Not even from a political perspective, you might say, "Hey, I'm a free market person. 
you know, New York has rent control. I think that's wrong or whatever. I, I think you should be able to put in fair market rents. So I'm saying yep. to me, I, you know, that is a, an example of an, one of the many issues to where you're like, well, how can you have your son-in-law, his company pushing out tenants and, you know, working with your lawyer to do it? But like, eh, yeah. it doesn't really impact me. You know what I'm saying? So I, I can I can see that side of it. Mm hmm. But, some other- but here's the. Yeah. Go ahead. So, guys, here's the flip, though. Here's the flip. Because then I turned on Fox oh, because there was a couple of people why? standing there. Now, I, I was about but, to say the media. But, yeah. but this is this is important because sometimes you got to know how people are thinking. It don't have to make, be right, but it's what they're thinking. So when you just said, I don't understand. Here's the answer. One of the answers. What they're saying on Fox is this has nothing to do with Russian collusion. Why are they coming after this if they said they was investigating collusion? So, see, this is a witch hunt. So what they're trying to get people to understand is or to think, not understand, is this was a waste of time. If they use the guise of Russian collusion, which it wasn't. But if you're just going to get people on simple crime, why did they just go after Hillary? But what they are not saying is this is leading up to the Russian. This is just the small stuff to get your ass to start telling because I'm going to keep convicting you of all of this little shit until you give me the big shit because I can say, well, we're not going to sentence you on these 15 things. But if you don't give us this Russian shit that will say this is actually what we colluded to do, uh, you're going to jail for a long fucking time. Well, what Fox is doing and, and Trump is doing, too, is they're trying to get you to are just trying to remind you that, oh, this whole thing doesn't matter because we're just trying to they're just trying to figure out about this Russia thing that doesn't really exist. So they'll just mention all these other crimes, Cohen, Manafort, um, the, the, the other dude in the beginning, I don't know, some Gates some lawyer that and Gates. That, uh, oh, and then his then his um, lawyer now. The lawyer now who went in for 30 hours, remember, that they was like, oh, yeah, you could go ahead and talk to him. And he was like, oh, shit. Are you sure you want me to talk to him? Yeah, go ahead. And then it was like, oh, shit, you have to tell them. Yeah, motherfucker, I got to tell them. I'm the the pro- I mean, I'm the lawyer for the, the office. I'm not the lawyer for you. Mm-hmm. And Trump thinks everybody he hired is has an allegiance or loyalty to him. And now he's finding yeah. out. That's not the case, bro, because you don't have an allegiance to me. That's the reason why Cohen said, you know what? I'm telling every goddamn thing because you're not doing anything to yeah. help me. Yeah, it, it's so I mean, uh, that's pretty much what Fox News does. Or they just try to they get your mind off all that stuff, all those details. Yeah. Like they literally just would talk about the complete opposite of what everyone else is talking about because they have millions of viewers. What I don't really understand is how. How the fuck does Fox News have so many viewers? Like, the the there's, there's a wide margin between them CNN and the next and yep. channel. Yep. That that's the part that blows my mind. I'm like, wow, there's so like, so anything that comes out of their mouth, they're hearing, whether or not they believe it or not. It's just they see yep. it and they're hearing it, and, and it's just that's the problem because it's just because they literally will lie. They literally say the most like ridiculous shit. And we have a president that's saying the same thing to the point that you have a totally different perspective of what this country is and what it's doing. And he doing. shows up there. So, yeah, yeah. And then all he has to do is repeat it. So he's on a press conference and he says exactly what they say on Fox News to the point that our voice or MSNBC or CNN's voice or ABC News, CBS News, whatever, NPR, whatever they're saying is like the minority, quote exactly. unquote. And it's, you know, but it's not really. It's just that's that's what the, his people believe. And that's, that's the game that he has to play in order to, 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 to get those uh, polls up pretty much. So Chaz, remember so. what you said, I'm going to keep going. I think we mentioned it a couple of times that what's going to bring him down really is <laughs> the, oh, girl. Oh, girl. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> the fucking porn star. And all mm-hmm. of that is centered on the payments to the porn star. And, now that he admitted and said, oh, yeah, I paid her. Yeah, I paid her. I paid her out of my pocket. Now that law, what's the, the lawyer, Alvinetti or whatever his name is? Uh, uh, Michael, Michael Avenatti. Avenatti. Yeah. So he came on and said, the man admitted to it. Now he has to show up in court 
because he didn't have to show up in court before because he said, I never paid her. I knew nothing about it. And so you can prove that I did that. No, I don't have to show up with court. But now they can subpoena him because he admitted it on Fox News. Oh, yeah, I paid her. Yeah, yeah. it didn't come out yeah. of anybody's funds. It came out of my pocket. I said, you fucking idiot. Do you realize what you're really doing because you're lying and keep making lies? And then you got to say, well, I didn't really pay her. Nope. Nope. We got it right here. Yeah, you said you did that. Up. Yeah, you already fucked up. <laughs> so <laughs> now he has to go for that, too. So there's so many different prosecutions going around on him that he can't even keep up. And and Congress and everybody is afraid that he may do something crazy just to distract yeah. people from that. Just like the South Africa deal. Which was like, yeah, whoa, where did that come? Yeah, yeah, that was that was directly from Fox yeah, News. That was literally Tucker Carson, came right? on and he's just talking yeah. about it. Yeah, yeah, like within minutes he said it on on the news, and then he tweets it out, and then all the other news agencies they realize apparently it's like some white supremacy or white nationalists, whatever they call it now. It's like their talking points. It's the way it's some make believe idea that. Um, South Africans are killing white yeah. farmers. They take their land away, and they take yeah, they take their land, and it's that's what they believe, and that's what they always say. And then it it it, it made its way into the news stream. Like that's that's the scary shit. And then every and then he's using that, and then he's telling it to millions of people. That's yeah. the problem, you know what I'm saying? And that's the extreme. And he of told it the too. Secretary of State to investigate it. Yeah. And I know Mike Pompeo exactly. is like, are you fucking? Did you do any research, dude? The fuck do I have to do anything yeah. with this? Well, I'm the president. Yeah. Well, and then don't forget that then South South Africa was actually the, the country yeah. was like, I'm gonna need you to answer for yeah. this. Like, what? Yeah, like, what the fuck are you talking about? Man? Yeah. They had to tweet back to. They didn't even have to. Call, they didn't even want to call them. They tweeted it back. Yeah, what no, the fuck is that? Be- Nations tweeting each other. That's you, that's what he created. This is what yeah. this president. Trump has you know created. why he did it though, right? Say what? You know why he did it, right? You know because that's I'm pretty sure you know it was the same time around the uh, uh, John McCain passing and then hey, no. All this, no, 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 all that was that, that was two days was before that. Yeah, because yeah. McCain got off uh, the meds or whatever on oh, yeah, Friday, that's what it was. That's and then the he one. died on Saturday. Mm-hmm. That okay, all right. I'm getting the news. Then that's that was the same day. Then he's he announced he was getting off the medic medication or not the medication. The, um, the yeah, yeah, the that, treatment, the treatments and everything. Yeah. It was this, yeah. also it was the same day that his lawyer. I mean, not his lawyer. His accountant said, "Yeah, I'm taking immunity." Bro, mm-hmm. and that had to be a hell of a deal. Immunity. All right, so either dude, you gotta know a lot of I'm shit. Saying, you know, mm-hmm. but they must have came with him with some bullshit. Look, um. We can put twenty years on you. You can die in prison, <laughs> or exactly, or you can get three. Yeah, yeah, three to five. Cut a deal, or you get immunity, and, mm-hmm. and then they do the high pitched voice, and uh, you, know, <laughs> just, you know, we just need a little bit of information. <laughs> mm-hmm. It can help us a little. Just, if you want to see your family again, yeah. you know, you said that. Yeah, you know, I know mm-hmm. we had a what a wife and a daughter one two you're you're a grandfather (laughs) now your grandchildren will uh how about immunity yeah Yeah, depends on what you got (laughs) and then he's like i know where all the bodies are show me one (laughs) what do you want to know (laughs) you showed one and it was like okay i'll be right right. back got it Mm -hmm. and then leak it to the don't tell us anymore yet yeah yeah and then you know what leak it to the press (laughs) yo so you think leaked it Because why would you keep that shit secret? Why not use that as a surprise? Because they want to make sure, hey, look, everything is going after this guy. Let's see if he'll break and do something stupid. Because now it's the it's it's not even cat and mouse. It's a mouse that's in a trap that the cat is playing no, with. No, it's because the, the, the mouse the mouse has the cat. You would think the president oh, has okay. all the advantage and the power. No. Nah. This is Jerry nah. whooping Tom's ass. Consistent, <laughs> consistently setting up the traps, doing all sorts of bullshit. <laughs> so, so this is just so amazing, and you know, I, you know, we was texting back and forth, and I was kind of like, "What's amazing to me is I haven't looked at this much news since <laughs> Obama was running 
for president and I the think, first time. And before and before that, before Obama, maybe Katrina. And then before yeah, Katrina, yeah. the Iraq Iraqi yeah. invasion. The Iraq nine eleven type that, shit that was 9/11. going on. Yep. Yeah. You can go through mm-hmm. the entire early back to the early two thousands. Because yeah. you know what? So Obama really had shit in cruise control. Like shit, Libya you know it that was dicey. North Korea every now and again, like okay. But Osama bin Laden. Yeah, I was, that was you know I got watch, this. Yeah, watch it a little bit. Like I was not I was I was re, I was more of a reader. But in other words, like Mike, to your point, I'm I'm not as reading the news as I am now just because I tr- I just didn't feel the need to okay. I know the Republicans saying no, but Obama got under control. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That was like my yep. attitude, yeah. whereas now I know he's not in control. Yeah, that's what we think, though. That's the other side was like, they just didn't trust him for some reason because Fox News or whatever. Mm-hmm. I'm saying the perception, I guess. The perception was. Right, right, right. I know you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You got to constantly, you're not constantly worried. Like, okay, I haven't heard a report in two days. What, what What's going on? You know it's coming. Yeah. <laughs> you just, just yeah, you just gotta wait. Versus the yeah. no drama Obama White House, uh, no drama. Yeah, but I want to go back because mm-hmm. I've been really thinking about this point with the whole McCain thing, because uh, people mm-hmm. have been really questioning his, uh, especially people on the left, really talking about McCain's legacy and all. And right. um, you know, I'm I'm a little mixed. I think there are times to where I think his ideal, his personal ideals were to mm-hmm. be that guy, and shout out to him for that. Because he he really did in terms of his against Trump anyway he was definitely like not on board with that bullshit. Yep. But you know, oh, you know, I, I'm just saying, <laughs> you know, I just I I'm more so wishing he was more independent or more the Maverick than I felt like he he was a Republican <sighs> a lot relative to his you know I get I mean that's how I feel but I love the fact he had right. Obama at his funeral. That's such an opportunity to bridge the gap. You know what I'm saying? But you know, he mm-hmm. he praised Obama consistently. Yeah, he, after he won. Yeah, well, I wouldn't say praise. He would, well, so let me I, maybe that's a little Yeah, pr- I wouldn't you know, say praise. Over, over the top. Use another word. But he's respectful. He actually yeah, classy. Yeah. He yeah. he said this is one of the best men that could have got the job. Yeah, he disagreed over like, yeah. hey, you know, foreign policy. Oh well, yeah. He, he would attack policy, not it wouldn't be personal. Not personal, but he respected mm-hmm. him so much as a person, and he mm-hmm. said it out loud. He didn't like, right, you know, behind key. closed doors. Well, you know, he is a good guy, but you know, I I got to stick with the party. No, he was like, exactly. no, this is a good guy. I got beat and by what, what, yeah. You get beat yeah. by the modern JFK. What can you say? But exactly. but Sarah Palin that <laughs> killed him, and when he told that white lady that Obama was Muslim. <laughs> <laughs> that hurt his presidency, dude, because he pretty much had it. That stupid yeah. shit with Sarah Palin and in front of all those white folks to say, mm-hmm. no, that's wrong. He is a good mm-hmm. man. He is not a Muslim because they wanted to continue to run with the Muslim oh, things the thanks to Trump. Just yeah, he's an Arab. Yeah, he's an Arab. Yeah. There was another guy, too, by the way. It wasn't just her. I saw another video. Yeah, I seen oh, really? Some other guy. Really? Yeah, bro, you can yeah, yeah, get yeah, on yeah. Twitter and keep... Uh, <laughs> Twitter has all the news. I yeah. thought Twitter was bullshit a couple years ago. I'm man, I, I'm trying to tell y'all, man. That's wow. that's how it is. Yeah, Twitter wow. is like yeah. all the journalists. You, you gotta you gotta mess with Twitter, man. Yeah. Go ahead and go ahead and yeah. grab the app, download it, and yep. follow. I already got it. I just, follow all. Yeah. Journalists. You just gotta be. You just gotta be smart enough to filter out. You know what I mean, and know who who to listen to, who yeah, not. Yeah, just to, follow you know actual saying, journalists, so. not. You know, I'm an actor. Not the hashtag. Quote, quote. Yeah. Well, people really yeah, don't do hashtags no more. People just, you know, hashtags aren't as whatever as they used to. You can just type some shit in now. In the, in the pop yeah. Story. When shit goes down on the news, you just go on Twitter. And you're good. And then, there it is. Right. Yeah. yeah right. There <laughs> it is. Yeah. Yeah. And then you get the story on the news. So, yeah. But I mean, with, with um, McCain, though, if you think about it, um, because he was, first of all, if you remember his election, his the whole campaigning, he was kind of he was losing to Obama, like like really losing because he had the, Obama had the momentum. Mm-hmm. Everybody loved what he was yeah. bringing, you know. Forget the fact that he was black; he would just had the swag. He just knew how to move in social media. His message was just was hitting everybody, and then he wanted to 
um, when he was trying to look for his VP, he was trying to get somebody that can like, I, I mean, just to kind of pull the, the, the media over to him or I guess make himself seem more interesting. It's just, even though it, it technically it kind of worked, he just got the wrong he just person. Got the wrong person. Because right. yeah. he had a nice one yeah. month, maybe even a sixty day boost. Mm-hmm. Then the oh then yeah, the journalists are talking to her like, "Hey, Sarah Palin, so you know, da 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 da. Why well, you see Russia from yeah. my house? Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> yeah, I read all the magazines. You know, like uh, you know yeah. the magazine." It was, yeah, it was so cr- it was cringeworthy. If you listen, if you actually just l- listen to her interviews again, because we all remember it from back right. then. But with all you know, with, with McCain passing, now you see all these stories popping mm-hmm. up, and they're showing her interviews again, and she literally just couldn't answer straight up questions. And, well, like just on top of that, for- I'll say I, I think mm-hmm. I'm, I'm a big fan of like just a, a long term view, and mm-hmm. so after that, mm-hmm. remember she she left politics. She's like a fucking personality yeah, now. So to me, that tells me that, you know, she was ready to capitalize. I mean, no diss yeah. to her, but if, you, if you're really that public servant type, why wouldn't you try to get like yeah. a, you know, go to the Senate and do this, do that? Why did you just but it was you know image. What? I'm a cash I, out? It was image. I thought she tried to, or, or and then she lost Wait, or something. What, I, what I thought she wrong? tried to run. What, what, pres- what, what I, uh, office or whatever? I probably got that no, wrong, I but think I, she I was, could have sworn she I think tried. she tried to be the senator of Alaska. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah, she shot high is what I remember, but oh, like, I think she just US, dropped out. The or US something. Senate? Yeah. 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 Oh, you yeah. know. Because remember, she was, yeah, because she thought she had enough people that would follow her, okay. but she didn't realize how fucking stupid she was. <laughs> and, <laughs> or who, who her people yeah, were. Who the people was really like, well, no That's one really true. votes in this state other than the Senate. And if you I'm going to vote, it's not going to be you. I'll, I'm going to say this yeah. about Sarah Palin, just in terms of the legacy of John McCain. I do hate that after that. Um, they did, and this is kind of a mixed thing. It happens with black people a lot, too, but the, her family got involved because it was talking about like her daughter, you know what I'm saying, like teenage oh, yeah. pregnancy or something like that. And, and, and then her, other, her, was, her son was on drugs. It was some bullshit, yeah. And I'm like... And her husband was like a stupid <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Redneck, yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's an Alaska dude, you know. So it's kind of like I do hate that. That's yeah, I hate that that happened. But I, yeah, I will say mm-hmm. in terms of that piece, that that definitely you can see that after that, you know what? It probably was a good thing that she was not in office. Oh, you're damn right. Yeah. <laughs> but but <laughs> but still, that that sprouted Trump and catapulted him because that's what those people wanted. They wanted that, but McCain was smart enough to say, "This, oh, oh my goodness, really?" And then the amount of times that she showed up lessened uh, much more because you couldn't have her in front of people and trying to act like you or sound like you intelligent oh, yeah. when you don't even have the capability of doing. Try to it. be smart. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, she she was really, you know what? That's a that's a brilliant point. She was Trump before Trump. Yeah, like basically, that was the model. She's a she's yeah. a dope who's getting around on personality and charm, and has to she has mm-hmm. to sell. She can't sell facts. She can't sell data. She has to sell, hey, a point of view. You know what I'm saying? That makes sense, right? She has to sell a narrative almost. Yeah, I mean, she was a voice for exactly what the problem is right now. She's the voice of all these Trump supporters. We're calling them Trump supporters, but but. They've been out there for like a decade. Oh, like, no, they've been out they've there forever. Years. It's just the boys. But probably forever, forever. You're right. Mm-hmm. They, yeah. they got a platform. Now they got a Finally, place. there's a platform for them. I'm about to say. Exactly. Established when? In yeah. 18, the... 1801? <laughs> 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 the 1700s. Yeah. True. Yeah. True. Yeah. yeah. Well, now they're out there. I mean, the, the, the real problem is why didn't the Democrats see that from 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 that day That's on? So I mean, obviously. the dumb. Well, I feel like it's like what you guys just said. They they knew they were out there. You know, it's just you want to you want to sell the doing the right thing, and then you just kind of just move forward and make sure you go and you just do the right thing and 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 try to go through the books and you know what I'm oh, trying yeah. to say like oh, yeah. the, well, you know instead of actually going at it the way that the Republicans are going at them, they were just trying to go by the book. I, so you know, and that's yeah. maybe where I want to be more involved. So, for example, here in the city, in Atlanta, 
you know, Atlanta is liberal. Atlanta, for the most mm. part, is you're going to have your, um, you know, your Democrats. So if I right. go out to the to the actual red part, what would they say? What's their perspective, et cetera, et cetera? I don't know how good a job the Democrats are doing in terms of not don't just canvas during elections, but like, for example, last year or the year before is the most important. Like early, like all 2017, you need to gather data, get a get a get points of view, so that when you're campaigning in 2018, you can use that to your advantage. Tune in next episode when we get into the state of the Democratic Party and what will be done after November elections. See you next time on Repo Rethink Politics. Bow off your bow off your bow off your children.